Assalamualaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will like to give a tutorial about periodic inventory system using FIFO method. So, what is meant by FIFO method? The oldest goods purchased in in are the first to be sold or out. And ending inventory consists of the recent item purchased or the newest inventory items remain in ending inventory. So, based on the David Company Limited, so there are five transactions for the month of July 2020. So, you are required to prepare period, periodic inventory system using FIFO method. So, when you want to prepare periodic system or FIFO method, we have to follow a few steps. The first one, we have to calculate ending inventory unit. The second one, you have to calculate ending inventory cost. The third one, we have to calculate cost of goods sold. And the last one, we have to calculate cost gross profit. Now, the first step. You can see that there are beginning inventory. The first purchase, sales, purchases, and sales. We have to take the period. No, no, no. We have to take the total purchase and total sales. Now, first, we have to calculate ending inventory units. The formula is 100, the beginning, plus purchase 80, plus 70, and less. Sale 90 plus 50, and you will get 110 unit for ending inventory. Now, we go to the next step. We have to calculate ending inventory cost. So, we must know that the oldest goods purchased are the first to be sold. So, the ending inventory will consist of the newest inventory item so we have to take from the newest inventory so this one is the oldest and the last one the purchase here is the newest or the recent purchase that we have made so there are 110 units of ending inventory so we have to calculate from the bottom 70 units times 12 because we have to take the recent item that we have purchased and the second one this one we have to take all 70 units and we have to take another 40 units from 80 so we take 80 from 80 we just take only 40 units with the price of 11 or with the cost of 11 so you will get the total for ending inventory units using FIFO method so what is the amount for ending inventory cost 70 times 12 you got 850 40 units times rm11 you will get rm440 and we must know that the ending inventory cost based on FIFO method, we must take the recent price. This is the recent price with recent unit. And this one, the second recent. And this one is the oldest price. Now we get a total for ending inventory cost. 1RM 1,280. So, Number one, we have calculated ending inventory unit. The second one, we have calculated cost of ending inventory. Now, the third one, we have to calculate cost of goods sold. So, what is the formula? So, we must know that the formula cost of 
equals sold equals to cost of goods available for sale less ending inventory. So we can see from the question beginning inventory 110 plus purchase 80 times 11 and the third purchase 70 unit times 12 and we have to deduct ending inventory so we get equals to 1000 plus 1720 this one represent for purchase this one beginning inventory plus purchase and less ending inventory then you will get cost of goods sold rm 1440 now the last one we have to calculate cross profit so the formula for cross profit is sales less cost of goods sold sales you can refer to the question sales july 18 july plus 27th july so 90 units times the selling price is 20 you get 1850 units times rm20 you get 1000 so the total for sales is rm2800 now sales rm2800 less 1000 rm1440 and you get cross profit equals to rm1360 so that's all for five formatted we must know that the oldest code purchase are the first to be sold and for ending inventory it will consist the newest and uh, newest inventory item remain in the ending inventory that's all for today don't forget to watch my next video don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you